find out what's the most frustrating aspect of the car buying experience and how consumers want to put it online. The beauty of the internet, which we know today most consumers are using, they're in the shopping process. In fact, more time is spent by consumers on third party sites than any other sites during the shopping process, okay? The reason consumers have turned to the internet during the shopping process is because the internet has opened up a plethora of information to consumers which really wasn't accessible to them unless they visited a dealership in the past. Okay, so things like vehicle listings, pricing information such as MSRP and invoice pricing are all generally available on the internet today. Information about special offers, ebates and rebates and incentives are now available to consumers online for the most part. That's what the internet has provided very successfully to consumers in the past. One of the things that we are noticing, however, is there's a breakdown that occurs between online shopping and offline purchasing. And what I mean by that is when we talk to consumers to understand from them uh, their most frustrating aspects during the shopping process, and we've been asking that question for many, many years, the answer hasn't changed. The frustrating aspect of the shopping process comes about when the consumer has to negotiate the deal. Okay, and all aspects of the deal, the price of the car, the, the value they're going to receive for their trade, uh, negotiating uh, financing, and, and so on. So what's interesting is this remains and has been the, the primary pain point for consumers for a number of years. And when we ask consumers their interest in possibly migrating some of these offline activities to the Internet, the interest is tremendous. Uh, more than six out of ten consumers tell us they're highly interested in migrating some of the, the negotiating aspect to the internet and online. And six out of ten consumers tell us they are most interested in, in, in receiving a firm offer on their trade-in offers prior to walking into a dealership. And today, arguably, the internet is not enabling that quite yet. There are a number of, of resources that are popping up that are informing consumers about what they should pay for a car based off of what other consumers have paid in their local market. Um, but firm offers on cars uh, are, are still things that are coming about. Um, there are a number of tools out there. Auto Trader offers one of them through the trade-in marketplace, which offers consumers firm offers on their trade-in before they walk into a dealership. But again, that hasn't become widespread in the industry. So I think the opportunity for third-party classified sites for dealerships is to, is to really pay attention, close attention to these consumer unmet needs, these pain points and these frustrations, and realize that consumers are very interested in the Internet becoming an, an enabler for some of these offline um, transactions, if you will. And so how do we together, working with our dealers, how do we work together in developing solutions for consumers to help better connect shoppers and dealers together in this very last mile of the consumer decision journey.